The conundrum of religion and the crisis of faith is a literary problem. And as a professor of literature, I saw this challenge as too good to refuse. Um, belief has become shaky, but there is still, I think, an opportunity for faith if we read the metaphors correct correctly. Now, this has great implications for school teachers and everybody working in the field of education. How do we teach these stories to avoid the literal interpretation? Because if we do, then we can guarantee that by the time they get to about eight or nine, they're saying, I can't believe half of it, so why believe any of it? And religious teachers throughout Australia and indeed the educated world are saying that the kids are just turned off uh, in religious education classes because they see it as making a mockery of their intelligence. So with this book, I'm hoping to actually reignite religious education and to open it up to the imagination. 